I am also very much aware that there is a Chicago connection here and that there's something happening Sunday. The Bears and the Pussycats, I mean the Lions, are playing football against each other. But you know, to tell you the truth, all of you here next week will not remember that game, will you? But you will remember being here this day in 10, 20 years from now. This is what you will remember about this weekend the love of a young couple and their commitment to each other. Will you disarm me? Oh, I know. Won't you let me draw my guard? And as hard as I may try, you're in Hi, Brian. Thank you, Holly. Take you, Holly. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will love you. And honor you. All the days of my life. A year and a half ago, I get a phone call from, like me right now, um, kind of a nervous young man, and uh, being the gentleman that he is, and he is, he did it the right way, and he asked me for Holly's hand in marriage, and of course I said, no hell to the no. <laughs> you got to take all of her, because you know, you know all the beautiful things about Holly, but she does come with her own set of, I don't know, unique challenges, let's just say. <laughs> but like your brother said, I am so confident that you are just gonna be so perfect for her. Cindy and I could not be more happy to have you as Holly's husband. And also, we get in that son that we never had, you know? So with that, Oh, wait a minute, one more thing. Did I mention that I was really wanting to be kind of a young grandfather? <laughs> Let's step it up, shall we? <laughs> Holly and Brian to a long, uh, healthy, happy, and God willing, lots of children. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>